this is a momentous day in the history of our great university. Um, but I want to make this quite clear. We are here because of the great package we offer. And at the end of the day, this is about 30,000 and growing students. Uh, the trajectory of a university that is spaceship-like and a visionary president that is guiding us into territories that this university has never been to before. And when you put all those things together and you sit down and you talk to people around this country and they know uh, how far we've grown, not only in the last few years under President Saunders' leadership, but really since this university made its commitment uh, to Division I football, Division I sports, and uh, we've come a long way in a relatively short period of time. Uh, so this place, uh, you know, the, the word is out. Everyone understands the great potential we have here. Conference USA understands that uh, uh, when you get FAU, uh, you're getting, you know, we're going to add value to the conference. That's our goal. Um, our goals have not changed as an athletic program. Uh, we, are, we are going to strive to be the best we can be and develop our student athletes. We understand that if we build champions, uh, we will win championships. Uh, if we build champions, we're going to sell out arenas and sell out stadiums. Uh, if we build champions, uh, we're going to add value and be a player nationally. That's our goal. Uh, I would be remiss if I did not thank uh, Coach Nellenberger. Uh, I always tell people, it's, it's oddly enough, we're celebrating uh, the founders this weekend at the football game, but um, you know he had a vision for a Division One athletic program, and uh, I made no bones about it. Our goal is to complete that vision. We appreciate your support through, throughout this whole process. I'd like to thank all of our coaches. Um, you know, change is, uh, change is, option, change is an integral, growth is optional. Uh, we're all committed to growing. We're all committed to uh, looking very different than we've looked in the past. Uh, just to give everyone a little bit of a timetable on how this all happened, um, really from my first conversation with President Saunders back in May, uh, she uh, expressed her, uh, uh, her thoughts on where we're at as an athletic program and, and what the future holds for our conference, and obviously uh, the geographic uh, fit was a big deal to her, and it's a big deal to uh, this athletic program. So, um, you know, we made, as soon as upon my hiring, you know, we made it a conscious decision to uh, continue the work that Melissa had done, make sure the communication lines were always open and clear, uh, not only with, you know, potential suitors, but with the Sunbelt Conference as well, um, to understand where we stand at all times and what our needs are as a member institution. Um, obviously, with the Big Ten going through what they did, uh, that changed the landscape quickly. Uh, things expedited uh, throughout really, you know, really Monday night and uh, Tuesday morning, myself, President Saunders, uh, our, our, our CFO, Dennis Crudell, and our Chief Legal Counsel, David Keon, uh, huddled together just to make sure that we were all on the same page. And um, uh, Anthony Barber joined in that conversation as well. And uh, as things maneuvered over the course of the next day, um, you know, we formally applied yesterday at around 3 o'clock uh, to be in the uh, Conference USA, and obviously they accepted uh, our application. So it is a momentous day. Um, we are excited. Um, this does provide some stability for us. Um, the finances of the deal uh, obviously are, are important, um, but this is a great day for us and we're looking forward to moving, moving in this direction with Conference USA. So with that, I will pause. Um, oh, go Owls. <laughs> with that, I will pause and uh, I will take questions and MJ, I'm assuming that people have some questions for you if you want to come up as well. So. Uh, Pat, what kind of uh, monetary benefits will this have? Well, in the short term, obviously, you know, the TV, uh, the TV deal that Conference USA is uh, extensively larger than what the Sun Belt has. Uh, Conference USA has working agreements with ESPN, Fox, uh, CBS, College Sports Network. So that in itself, you know, you know, is, is, is obviously a, a, a huge, you know, reason why we're doing this. Um, you know, moving forward, obviously, we're going to have more, you know, we're going to have to pay an uh, entry fee into Conference USA, and we're, we're working through that piece now. That will affect our, our annual TV uh, um, dollars that we'll incur, but basically it is an upside there. Was it possible to make the expansions that you want with your athletic program without making this conference change? Um, yes, it was possible, but I'm a firm believer in momentum. Uh, this allows us, this opens up a different market to us. Um, you can see, I mean, I'm watching watching ESPN last night, and you see us across the bottom of the ticker, and I talked to one of our basketball coaches today, and they're excited because recruits are noticing FAU, you know, on ESPN, you know, at primetime games. Uh, you know, it's little things like that. You know, we're well aware of the PR. You know, I guess I actually told Anthony Barber this. I underestimated the PR impact of this. 
Uh, I underestimated how this would energize us. Um, you know, this is about moving forward. You know, it's an old adage, once you start winning, it's going to be hard to lose. Uh, we need to get some wins. This is a big win for us. Um, and people understand that this is a part of a plan, and our plan is, is to, you know, to build an athletic program that's relevant in this country. Several references to FIU. How important were they into getting this done? Um, they were very important. Uh, one thing we had always talked about was we need a geographic rival. Uh, when I came here, understanding that they were leaving, um, you know, that hurts. Because obviously every great program has a great rival, so uh, that allows me as an AD to go in rival mode. So that team down south <laughs> did help us. Uh, I won't have to refer to them anymore because they are officially a rival again. Uh, we do want to win the Shula Cup. Uh, Pete has been very gracious to me, Pete Garcia, since day one. Uh, we would like to work towards something in which we're competing for something in all sports because this is a rivalry that's going to be around for a while. Uh, but that team down south was a big help for us. Yes. <laughs> Any other questions? We have President Saunders here too. Let me just give a call out to all of our former owls out there because we know how much they uh, meant to our programs as our programs grew. Uh, we know when we get to see uh, Alfred Morris do those owl fingers after scoring touchdowns, how that touches our heart, and uh, all of our former owls out there who are succeeding in all walks of life. and. Uh, we want to thank them, our student athletes, uh, for what they did to build this program so that it's poised to be competitive in Conference USA and look forward to a, to a bright future. So you always build on those that came before, and so we're very, very grateful to all of them. So let's give a call out to those former Owls as well and, uh, and say go Owls to them.